Justice? Thank God. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm a little jumpy. I'm waiting for word on Jason. Um, well, I, I don't, I don't know any more about the case against Jason, but, um, Jason is why I'm here. When I saw Jason under arrest and, and I realized it was partly because of me, I, I, you know, I fell right back into that same old pattern again. You know, not that Jason asked me to because he would, he would never do that. I just, that's, that's the way I am with him. Anyway, um, I don't know. I just, I, I had to find out who shot Durant and Jason asked me to stay out of it. I didn't. Big surprise, right? I went, went after Carly and I was telling her what to do. I put my whole life on hold. But then I, you know, I, I went back to the police station and I saw you two together. Jason was, was listening to the baby and he looked happier than I have seen him in a long time. I don't know, I just, I realized that Jason has moved on. And I, I need to move on too. So I, I am, as of now, I, I'm not gonna be standing on the fringe anymore and waiting and, and reminding Jason of our life together. I, I, I'm gonna back off. I just, I wanted you to know. Anyway. Okay, good luck with everything. Courtney, Courtney. Has it occurred to you that I might have something to say about this? I understand what you're trying to do and where you're coming from, but I don't think you've asked the most important question. Am I romantically interested in Jason? And the answer is no. Jason <laughs> bought this for the baby, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He thinks it's going to be educational. Yeah, little Michael knows an incredible amount about Africa because of Jason. Courtney, that's why I'm here. I know how good Jason is going to be to my baby. Yeah. Yeah, your little girl is going to know all kinds of things. Because Jason will tell her about all the places he's been. You know, she'll know right from the start that it's a huge world and, and she has a place in it. Look, maybe you don't see it, but there's something between you and Jason. You know, I mean, maybe you think it's just about the baby, but I know Jason and, and it's clear what he wants. You don't know what I want. Maybe it's just too soon for you to see it. Trust me on this. You're gonna walk in here one night and you are gonna see Jason rocking your baby to sleep. And, and you'll realize what's right in front of you. Uh, you're gonna get out of here soon. Um, Cardi's asking Durant to get you released. Well, you know, I, I, no, I'd rather stay no, locked I up. I told her so. it's okay, Jason. Durant is gonna get the cops to cut me loose for one reason. Well, or Carly. You know what? If, if I need you out of here, if Durant can, can arrange that, then fine. She's getting too close no, to this guy. No, we can't keep fighting Carly. We have to show her Durant's a threat. Yeah, how are we gonna, how are we gonna show her? He'll, he'll make a mistake. He's pushing this too hard. He's telling lies. He will get caught. Durant just called, says he saw you in the crowd, but you weren't holding a gun. He's lying. He wasn't anywhere near me. Yeah, well, maybe. The cops have dropped all charges. You're free to go. <laughs> you know what, Jason? Call me optimistic, man, but I thought you'd be happy about this. Thank you. Right. Need your signature right here, sir. All right. I'm going to roll some heads and get you out of here. Thanks. You know what, though? I don't understand why Duran is doing this. He's doing Carly a favor. So that means he's going to want something in return. Yeah, something Carly can't give him. 
You have no right. Steve Weber's uh, forensic report turned up a latent print on the gun. It means you're completely exonerated. You're free to go. Thank you. you don't thank me yet. You haven't seen my bill. You seem to have friends in high places these days. Whoever you hired was very sloppy. You know, I checked my calendar. It's Morgan's first birthday, correct? Congratulate Sonny for me. And remind him that without my help one year ago tonight, both Morgan and his mother would probably be dead. Oh, hey, what's going on? Welcome home. We got kicking and everything. Do you want a hat? Do I? Uh, no, no, I don't want a hat. Why don't you guys across the hall? What happened to Morgan's birthday party? Well, Carly took Morgan to see Durant and Sonny went with him, so. I didn't want to go because Durant's not my grandpa and he never will be. So, Courtney, you brought Michael over here and now you are stuck with Michael, me, and all of the leftovers. Do you want some ice cream? Sure. Oh, ice cream. Okay, I'll get it. <laughs> yeah, get that ice cream. <laughs> do, you get, do you want a hat? No, no, I don't want a hat. I need to talk to you. What, what, what? I changed my mind. Okay, with what? I don't care if you fall in love with Sam. 